Okay, this is the uh, hickory tree. I don't know if you can see it up there, but it's kind of thinned out way up there at the top. Down here, this is the tree, one of them, that has these uh, spots on it. And these are the leaves. Here, those are the leaves. That's the bark. And there's the holes in their making. That's the tree. It's thin, thinning out at the top, so I don't know if it's still salvageable. This is the area around it. Okay, and then I have another tree over here. This one's kind of getting thinned out as well. All my hickories are kind of looking thin, and I don't know if it's because of the cold weather we had. Um, this one here, I'm not seeing anything coming out of the bark, maybe in a few spots. That tree looks kind of thin as well. And then this tree over here, one more. And this one has something going on here with the bark, possibly the bark beetles coming out. And this one's kind of looking thin as well. I have a number of these trees in the property. They're all looking kind of thin, and I'm thinking it's because of the, the cold weather. But those two that I showed you had the uh, bark beetles, po possibly. If that's what they're called. Um, this one right here is another one. I'm not sure if it's got anything going on with it. And then one more is this one right here. This one's healthy way at the top. And I'm wondering if there's anything I can do to salvage this down here. You know, if I could wrap this or what I can do with it. But I'm just concerned about this one. Um, I don't see any bark beetle holes on this one yet. but just concerned about it near the top as well. So and I have a number of these trees around. Just wondering if there's anything I should do with these to help them. So there you have it. That's the first one we came to by the flagpole. It's looking rather thin there. So concerned about that one primarily in this one here. That's that. Thank you.